Once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online class, and in this video, I'll be showing us how to cut and sew an abada. It can be worn by a male or a female. Now, in taking abada measurement, you take the shoulder and the sleeves together. So you ask your client to spread his or her hands. Then you take both the shoulder and the sleeve together. Now, the shoulder and the sleeve of this person is 24 full, so half of it to be 12. Now the length is 26. The length of this agbada is 26. Now, agbada, you have the one with embroidery and the one without embroidery. I'll be showing us both, but the one we'll be working here is without embroidery. I also show us the one with embroidery when you're through with the cutting. Now, agbada is very easy and simple. So, use normally three, three to four yards will be enough. In making an agbada and remember 36 yards makes an inch 36 why 45 length 45 inch makes one trouser length so I'm working for a kid so now this is the fabric I'll be working with this is the fabric I'll be working with so I'll be working with this fabric but I'll show us how to fold your agbada when cutting agbada I want to show us how you go about the folding so assuming this is your fabric let's say three yards of fabric you fold this watch carefully you fold this please take a look i'm folding this way take a look this is it this is it so i'm folding this way uh -huh. then i'm folding again so this is how to fold for your butter cutting step one 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 then two so this is how to go about folding for your bada fabric so that is what i have on this table here i've done the folding already so as you can see here so now i'm working with two yards here so step one remember the shoulder and the sleeve together so my fabric is on fold so i'll divide 24 by 2 24 divided by 2 gives you 12. So from this point, this is my shoulder and sleeve point. And this is the top length. This is the top length. Why? This is the shoulder and sleeve together. Remember how I did the folding. So since the fabric is on fold, now you divide it to 2, which is 12. So with me here, you mark 12. You mark 12. 12 then I'm adding one inch sewing allowance that is 12 so I'm marking 12 remember the shoulder and the sleeve together the full agbada shoulder sleeve together was 24 since your fabric is on full you divide it by 2 12 plus 1 inch sewing allowance now the next thing I'll be marking is the top length to do that the agbada length what we have here is 26. This is the length. So you're starting from this shoulder point. Down, 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 down. This is 26. So you mark 26. And I'm adding 2.5 inch folding allowance. Take note. So all through, remember this is shoulder and sleeve together with allowance. So you're marking all through straight. So you make sure you have a straight line as shown. You have a straight line so this is how you go about so cut so that is all we make cutting so you cut a very straight line down okay you have that then you cut off this part as well Okay, so with this I'm true. So you put a notch, take a look at this edge here. At this edge, you put a notch to indicate the middle of your agbada. So you put a notch there to indicate the middle of your agbada. Now remember I said in a making of agbada, you have the one with embroidery and the one without embroidery. In the course of this video, when you're true 
you open this you open this it is at this middle you take if you want to do embroidery not take it to those that are into the field of embroidery they will be the one to design whichever style of your choice i'll quickly show us the one i've done and embroidery i've done i'll quickly show us now so as you can see this is the one i've done this is an agbada embroidery I've, I've just finished doing so this is with embroidery the embroidery was made at the center she told us at the center there so you just give it to the, you put a notch there they will be the one to design whichever style of your of their choice or you'll be the one to decide which style so this is how to do an embroidery you're not the one to do this so but i'll be showing us how to do without embroidery in case you don't have and the sewing Now, in a situation whereby you want to do an embroidery, when you're through with the notch, remember when we finished our cutting, everything, we, we had to put a notch at the middle. So if you want to do embroidery, now take it to those who do embroidery. With me, I already have an embroidery machine, so I'll give it to the guy that makes an embroidery. So you give it to the person, and this was the design he came up with at the end of the day. He came up with this wonderful design as you can see he came up with this wonderful design so this is with embroidery so the next thing i'll do is to do the joining i already showed us how to do the joining but in this case the edge the edge i'll just fold all through and sew i will not put any other material so you just fold the edge and you sew when you're through then the down remember i said for adults you sew the down and you stop at seven then you do that fold in the same pattern the only difference is just the embroidery once again you're watching pj collection clothing online class Cheers.